In today's video, I'm going to talk about 14 amazing free tools that you can use for your KDP low content book publishing business. Take a look. Hello, home bosses. My name is Nuria from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And I often talk about low content book publishing on this channel. And today I've got 14 tools and they are absolutely free and they can help you in your low content book publishing business. And they are tools that I use myself as well. So without any further ado, here are the 14 tools. The first tool I want to tell you about is the AMZ Suggestion Expander. And this tool is really helpful when you're doing your research. All you have to do is go on Google, type in AMZ Suggestion Expander and install this extension onto your Chrome browser. And then when you go onto Amazon, for example, you want to research journals and you type in journal into the search browser you get a drop down list like this. And this drop down are keywords that people have typed into Amazon to search for things. So we know that they're searching for journals for women, journal notebook, journal for men. And this is Amazon's drop down. But when you have the AMZ suggestion expander installed, you get many more choices. I'll show you quickly what that looks like. So now we have the extension installed. If I type in journal, can you see how there are so many more keywords to choose from? So this really helps you when you're doing your research on Amazon to find the right keywords. Another helpful extension is the DS Amazon Quick View extension for Chrome. And I have got this installed. This really helps me when I do my research because it shows me a quick overview of all the details that I need. So for example, if I want to research teacher notebooks, let's type that into the search bar. And I want to research these books. I'm having a look at all the books here. Where can I find all the information? Well, I can only find the information if I click on this book, for example. So I click on the notebook and then I can find out the BSR if there is one. And in this case, there isn't a BSR, so this book hasn't sold. So I have to really click on every notebook to find the data that I need. With the Amazon DS Quick View, you don't need to do that. I'll show you how that works. Now I've got the DS Amazon Quick View extension installed. And if I want to go onto Teacher Notebook, you can see that I've got more information here. I can already see that the rank for this book is 23,021. So it's showing me the BSRs for every book on this page. So I don't have to click on the books. And if I want to find out more information, if I just hover my cursor over the books, it gives you all the product details here without having to click on each individual book. And another very helpful tool, very similar to the Amazon Suggestion Expander and the Quick View, are the tools from Self Publishing Titans. If you go on the Self Publishing Titans website, you will find so many helpful tools. So if you scroll down on their website, you can find all the tools here. So there are the best free KDP research tools. And I really like them because they really give you a lot of information. So if you install them and you go onto Amazon and you type in teacher notebook. You can see that the self-publishing tools appear straight away. So you get a really big suggestion expander similar to the AMZ suggestion expander, but this one expands it even further. And there's also a really good research tool that you can install and that gives you quite a lot of information. So once you have that installed, you go onto Amazon and you see that it appears here, there's a big bar at the top of the page. And uh, if you type in teacher notebook, you get like a keyword score here. So if this is green, that means it's a good niche. If it's yellow, it's so so. And if it's red, then it's probably not a good idea to create a book in this niche. But of course, you can't just go by this. This is just a guide. You have to also look at the other details. So it tells you how many results there are, how many on the first page, how many are independently published, an average BSR. So it gives you a lot of information that you can use for your 
research and uh, it's a very very handy tool and it's free so I can really recommend that you use it. The other free tool I want to tell you about is Canva and I use Canva for absolutely everything. I started by using PowerPoint for my book interiors and covers and that is another free tool that you can use but I have moved on to Canva. I create all my book interiors and my covers in Canva and I also use it for social media posts or any other things that I need to design and Canva also has free images that you can use and free elements. There's a lot you can do with the free version alone and I can really recommend it for low content books. And while we're talking about design tools, there's another one that is completely free and it's very similar to Photoshop and that's Photopea. I don't know if it's pronounced Photopea or Photopea, <laughs> but however it is pronounced, it's a free tool that is really useful if you haven't got Photoshop and you need the functionality or some of the functionality of Photoshop. So this is another great free little tool that you can use to help you with your book cover design or any other design work that you might need. The next recommendation is not strictly a tool. We're talking about Creative Fabrica, but I wanted to show you where you can get freebies where you can get free images or fonts or anything that you need for your design and Creative Fabrica have got freebies so if you hover here over the freebies section you can see they've got free fonts, free SVGs, free graphics, free embroidery and free classes so you don't necessarily need to buy anything you can select some free stuff and you can keep it in a folder and then use it when you need it. This is what I used to do when I first started creating low content books. I couldn't afford to buy graphics and things like that at the beginning so I made my books with any freebies that I could find. And there is a very similar site called thehungryjpeg.com and this is very similar to Creative Fabrica and you can also find freebies here at the top. There's a weekly freebie and there's a free font bundle. So again, you can pick some really nice free images and free fonts that you can use in your book designs. And I'm sure if you do a Google search, there will be more sites like this where you can find freebies to use in your designs. Another place where you can find really good free resources is BookBold. Now BookBold, I have a subscription, but when I started, I again didn't have the money for subscriptions. So I tried to use as many free things as possible and BookBold actually have got some very good interiors for free. So you go onto Interior Wizard and there you can find a lot of free interiors that you can use for your books. And this is another very good resource that they are offering for free, which I think is really helpful if you're just starting out and you can find some very good interiors here. Always remember to change them a little bit or to add some pages that you've made yourself to make your book unique. When you're using pre-made interiors like this, you have to find a way to create a book that is unique to you and that might be by combining different pages or you can download these and upload them to Canva and then add little elements to your pages. Just make sure that you create something that is unique so that nobody else has the same book as you. Another site with really great free resources is BookBird. Now BookBird, if you go onto templates, for example, they give you free templates. Let's have a little click and uh, you can find some things here that are very interesting. They also have some free tools here which are very handy. You've got a niche hunter, a sales calculator, a royalty calculator, a book category finder and a keyword organizer. So there are lots of free tools here that can really help you with your research and with your with your book creation. Another helpful website is Bookow and you can use Bookow to create your KDP cover templates. So you can generate templates for your cover so you know the sizes. They have an ISBN barcode generator if that's what you want to do, if you want to make your own barcodes. And uh, it's even got formatting tools but the one that we really like for low content books is this KDP cover template generator and all you have to do is type in the width of your book, the height, the page count, the paper type and it creates the sizes 
for your covers automatically and it also generates a template that you can use. So this is an extremely helpful tool. If you haven't got Tangent Templates, which is a paid tool that uh, calculates all the sizes for you, then this is a good alternative to calculate your cover sizes. Another amazing resource is Dave Chesson's Kindle Printer free Amazon book advertisement course. And this is amazing because this is a course that goes in depth into how to run Amazon ads for your books. So the fact that this course is absolutely free, you can click here to access the free course. That is absolutely amazing. It's a really substantial course. It really teaches you everything you need to know about running Amazon ads. And uh, I think this is a super resource. And if you are on the website, check out their blog, check out their whole website, because there's so much that you can really learn just from looking through their content. But I wanted to mention the course in particular because I think this is an amazing resource that you can access for free. Another great free resource is Booklinker. Booklinker shares a single link that works for your entire audience and uh, it automatically localizes your Amazon and Apple links so readers in other countries go straight to their local storefronts for easier purchasing. Because sometimes if you are in the UK and you share your UK link, the person that sees your link may be in the US and if they click on your UK link, it will show as out of stock or it will show as that they can't deliver it. So Booklinker converts your link into the link that people need from their own country. So Booklinker is a really useful tool when it comes to promoting your books. Another really useful Chrome extension that I use is called What Font. What Font is very useful when you find a font that you like but you don't know what it's called. So if you install this Chrome extension, I'll show you an example. Let's say we're going onto my own website, thehomeboss.com, and you see this font and you're wondering, what is this font? So I've got the What Font Chrome extension installed up here. So I click on this and then all I have to do is hover over the fonts and it tells me what the fonts are. So you can see that here as an example. So you can click on it as well and get more information on the font that is used. I find this really useful and uh, it helps me find fonts that I like the look of. Another very helpful Chrome extension that I use is called Quillbot. Quillbot checks your grammar, it checks for plagiarism, it paraphrases your your sentences. It does so many things and I find this really helpful when it comes to creating any written content. And it's a free extension. So this is really helpful if you start writing text, for example. You can then paraphrase this and it will create the same sentence but paraphrasing it. The meaning is the same but it has created a different sentence. So this is really good sometimes if you want to write something and you're not quite sure how to express it. This can be quite helpful to do that for you and it also checks your grammar and that's always very very helpful and I use this quite a lot. Another very useful resource is the KDP University. And this is something that people are not using enough, in my opinion. This really teaches you everything you need to know about KDP. They've got webinars, they've got videos, they've got a KDP Jumpstart, which is a really simple end-to-end -end guide to publishing on Amazon. Of course, KDP University is not for low content books. It's especially for written books, for novels, for non-fiction, for fiction. But you can also apply this to your low content books. So of course, low content books are slightly different, but it's really worthwhile to go to the KDP University and learn everything you can about publishing in general and about publishing on KDP. It really teaches you everything you need to know. So many times when you've got a question and you don't quite know the answer to it, check on the KDP University because I'm sure you can probably find an answer to all of your questions right here. You've got the help topics on the left hand side and you can actually 
joined the KDP University to to learn more about publishing. So this is another really useful resource that's completely free and we should take advantage of that. So I hope you found this useful. I'm always happy to find anything that's free and that can help you in your business. Let me know what you think. Are you using some of these tools already or did you find some that were new that you didn't know about? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much everybody for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.